Welcome back to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and this video it's going to be pretty quick. It's about using Notepad to speed up your typing. So when you're configuring routers, if you're configuring more than two routers, it can be quite a pain to keep typing in all the commands. So I'm going to use Notepad and basically it becomes a cut and paste process. As always, uh, this video is brought to you by Crypt.com, hosting provider in Southern California. So if you need virtual private servers or dedicated servers crypt.com crypt with a k all right we have gns open we've got two routers i've already labeled things uh 1.1.1.1 1.1.1.2 .1 actually we're not going to get to the actual uh, ip addressing uh, you may remember in a couple of my previous videos i have a basically six commands that i do when i when i set up a router so these six commands no matter what router i go on well cisco router i set these commands so let's say I wanted to do it. Uh, I wanted to do it as quickly as possible on these two routers. But okay, maybe two is not too bad. But if I had three, four, let's say eight routers, and I wanted to do six commands on all eight, um, if you're under the gun and uh, you're in like a, your CCIE lab, uh, probably uh, want to have some faster way of doing this. So I'm going to use Notepad and pretend that we're on the router typing. So you would do conf t, right? This is after you hit enable, hit a space, host name, and whatever. So we'll just say router, no IP domain lookup, alias exec s show IP int br, line con zero, logging logging synchronous the space isn't necessary the router is going to just rec ignore any space so you could do two spaces three spaces whatever you could hit tab doesn't matter or if it if, if you can handle it uh, you don't need a space at all logging synchronous no exec timeout so we're going to do that looks that looks about right so we're going to copy that, open up our terminal window. So we'll start with router 0. We're in our, not yet in our enable mode. We'll go into that. OK, so in, uh, in PuTTY, the paste command, you could do control V. That will work. But here we're just, it will also recognize the right mouse button. So I'm going to paste that in there. Paste everything in there, hit Enter. Looks like everything worked. We'll just verify that. Show run. And let's take a look. Hostname router, that seems to work. No IP domain lookup, that's good. Haven't yet configured our interfaces, which makes sense. Alias exec s, show IP and PR, that's in there. Line console zero, exec timeout, logging sickness, that works out. So let's do s, and we should get show IP and PR. Great. So this router, the just the regular router host name, probably want to change that still. So uh, router zero, let's say. But that's pretty much it. Okay, so router zero is set up except for the interfaces. Let's try the same thing on router two, or actually in our case, it's router one, since we started out as router zero. Typical uh, computer language there, everything starts at zero. Enable, paste the same thing in there, bam. And out of there, see if our S works. There we go. And we'll just change the host name really quick. All right, so this is a pretty quick and easy video. It is just using Notepad to cut down on your configuration time. Uh, now, saving configuration time on this may not be that big of a deal, but later on when you're doing uh, BGP, EIGP, OSPF, those crazy routing protocols and redistribution and route maps and all that stuff, you're going to need all the help you can get. So always have Notepad open. Uh, if you're taking your CCIE test or you're studying for it, uh, you should already know this by now, but they'll let you use Notepad without a problem. And uh, you, know, you probably should be using Notepad. All right, so this was a quick video. Thank you very much. See you later.